Hey everyone, uh, I want to show you some uh, work I've been doing over the past day and a half to create a very simple and easy to use interface builder for uh, MOE. So um, most of you know this, but if you don't, I want to uh, say, uh, I want to let you know that if you want to uh, figure out how to design the interface for, for MOE, Let's, let's double click on it and take a look at it real quick. Um, uh, this is a, a, a new a new new interface for the app. So let's take this. I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna actually show the package contents now. Go into uh, the uh, some of the MOE files and the UI files, and you'll see that there is a file here called. Uh, it's called moi.css. Here it is right here. And that's what the file is that you were just looking at. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to change this. This is, the, this is, this is a, a, an original version of it. So now that I've got that, uh, so now I've, I've taken the backup and turned it into the original version. So let's go back up to here, double click on this and let's take a look at it again. And you'll see now we have the basic basic version that we're, we're used to seeing. So. So how do we create that new version? So, well, here's how it works. So uh, we start off uh, by using this GUI Builder app. Okay. And uh, once you launch this, this app, it's gonna work for the Mac and PC. It'll be two different versions. Uh, you wanna click this check for update. And when you check for update, it'll say, oh, there's an update out there. It'll retrieve it and bring you the new version down. And then you can get started right away working on it. So. So this reset moi.css does exactly the same thing. Well, actually, let's, let's first identify where where the MOI app is. I have a Virgin MOI app sitting right here. So I'm gonna, so now I can reset this the CSS at any time to the original CSS. So I can create a backup, or I can just use this button that'll automatically wipe out the old CSS and put a, a brand new, fresh copy of the original CSS in it. Um, anytime I make a change to the interface, I can save it and preview it here. Uh, and then we have this ability to also change the backdrop color. So and we do that with this color grabber. So this color grabber is kind of a custom thing. If you move the mouse over any color, you see that, and you hit the tab and, and you press the space bar, it's gonna lift the color. Furthermore, if you click in the square, you're gonna actually get a, you'll get a uh, the, the system color preview as well. So, um, uh, and what you've done, this, what this basically does is it builds a background color uh, so that when you're designing the colors here, you have a background to work with. So I'm going to change that backdrop to something a little more neutral. So I'll put in saturation and let's just make it a little something like this. Okay, so we'll start like this. So it's pretty simple here. It's really just, you just click on what you want to change. I'm going to claim change this background color. So let's go in here. Actually, I saved it a dark color here. So. So there's the there's the dark color that we, we were looking at. Now, we, of course, we don't have the text. We can barely read it. So up here, I can set the global text color. So let's let's move that something like this. Okay. Now the text you can see is is readable, but some of these other areas aren't. So let's click on this panel. We'll choose the background color for this panel, and uh, let's move it down. Say something like this. Let's see what happens. Now you can kind of see the text, but not really that well. I think I want to make it just a, sl a, a, a tiny bit darker. There we go. There you go. That looks better. Now, I don't like that border around there. So the border color, I could make it the same color as this, or I could just turn off the border pixels. In fact, if I, see, I, I can add larger. So I can I, these requesters, you just drag to the right or drag to the left to change the number here. So if I drag it all the way off, it's going to give me that. Maybe I'll make a bunch up the borders, the, the radius a little bit, maybe to seven, something like that. So, uh, actually, let's uh, uh, let's now let's work on the not selected tab. So, the not selected tab is probably going to be pretty much the same color as this. I'll lift this up, and then I'll use this to I'm going to just punch it out just a little higher. There. Okay, uh, again, I'm going to turn off the border pixels on that. Uh, or maybe I'll leave it uh, on one, but I'll change the border color 
to match again spacebar to lift that color right there. Uh, that looks good. Hover tax color probably ought to be something along the lines of. I need to preview this. It doesn't have a preview for this yet, so we'll just we'll use that as the hover tax color for now. Then we'll click on this active pane, and again, this is going to be. Let's just make this black. There we go. So there. So now we have that, and then we have this little stripe in the middle, this separator color. So I'm going to make it. It's going to be pretty much this color, but just a tad lighter. So look down here. This is the exact same band of things right here. So you go in here, see there. Uh, separator should be just a tad lighter. There. Okay, so now we have this button. Uh, and let's just grab, grab the same color here. Let's turn off the border again. And let's have the hover text color, or let's uh, the hover background color. Let's make it black. So now when we hover over this, it's going to be black. And then the, the text color will be it's a lighter color, so if we hover over, it's going to be right there. That looks good. So, uh, this we're going to change the background color. Let's just lift this old, this red over here again. Turn off the border pixels, uh, maybe adjust the radius a little higher. Um, and then the background color will make uh, like this, so that now when you roll over it, you get this. Nice blue color that hits you. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll make the background color of this. Well, let's try that blue also. There. And then let's turn off the border pixels on that. This has already been done. So now we have uh, this background color here. We'll make it black. Turn off the border pixels. Uh, this area we're going to make. This 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 radius rectangle behind here is the same color as this right here, so I'm going to make this uh, the same color here, so it matches that radius. Uh, the hover text is going to have to be needs to be less saturation, maybe some more blue and lighter like this. Okay, that looks good. And then this one is going to be the exact same color as. This rose will be the same color as this, but we're going to bunch it up a little bit, a little lighter. There we are. And the border color for the icon is going to be there. And the color, uh, the hover background color is red. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Uh, let's actually make it a little darker. No, let's make this one a little darker because the, the, white, the text is a little too bright. So we'll come in here and we'll just... Punch it down a little bit. There. Now you can see that a little better. So all that works. So now we've got our, our interface pretty much complete. Uh, and uh, all I need to do now is hit the save moi.css, moi.css. Uh, I've done that. Now let's move this out of the way. And let's double click on moi. And you can see that that uh, this is our interface right here. This is the interface that we just designed. So let's pull this back up. You can see they're pretty much almost exact, uh, identical. There's some little differences between some of these things, but uh, let's draw a solid. Okay, and we'll go into uh, types. So you can see there's a solid. So our colors are right here. Some things that I haven't yet to do, I haven't got this. Uh, this area figured out, the, these little panels, nor do I have the highlight areas. Uh, uh, you know, and with that button right there, you can see I got to fix this button. So there's a couple areas that still need to be fixed in all of this. But uh, for the most part, it's looking pretty good. Notice that I did add some of the icon, new icons down here. I'll talk a little bit later about how to do that. So the goal is to have this thing finished this weekend. I've got about a day and a half into it. I want to knock it out this weekend so we can have it released in a beta form uh, to the community uh, by the end of uh, Sunday. That's my, that's keep my fingers crossed. That's what I want to do. It'll run, as I said, on a Mac and a PC. So uh, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, look forward to uh, uh, talking to you guys online. See you. Bye.